Welcome to Let's Draw an Albatross. Um, when I decided to make um, this video this morning, I wanted to draw a bird. Uh, but what bird? There are so many to choose from. So then I remember a movie that I watched when I was um, a little girl. In French, it was called Les Aventures de Bernard et Bianca. Um, it was a Walt Disney movie. And the title in English is The Rescuers. So, and in, in that movie, one of the, the my favorite characters um, uh, was called Orville. And he was, as you might guess uh, already, um, he was an albatross. So here it is, a picture of, a, of the movie. Uh, so you see uh, Orville, you see Bernard Bianca on his back in a little tin, um, uh, sardine tin, uh, ready to take off. And Orville um, was, um, uh, you know, managing an uh, airline called Albatross Airline. Okay, so yeah, very, very fond memory of, um, of, of that movie. So here it is um, with the Albatross. And so why would Walt Disney would choose a, an Albatross to, to take Bernard and Bianca in, in, in their adventure? Well, as you may already know, um, an albatross is a seabird. Uh, they are the largest flying birds on earth because they have the longest wingspan of any bird. And so a wing, wingspan means that when they extend their wing and they measure from the tip of one uh, wing to the other, uh, Albatrosses are the biggest, and they can they, they can go up to three meters long, okay. Um, but it's not the only reason. It's also because albatrosses um, they can stay in the air uh, and fly for hours and hours without stopping. They they do actually have in their shoulder um, a special muscle that when they their, their wings are uh, extended, it stops them from flapping. And they use that, the wind to, to glide. And they can go, as I said, for hours and hours, miles and miles, without stopping. Um, there are actually uh, 22 recognized species of albatross, and they mainly live in the south uh, south hemisphere oops here okay so mainly around the coast of uh, south america and they can go all around like that and some of them you can find them in next to uh, uh, australia uh, you've got few uh, uh, family of albatross who live more like toward uh, japan hawaii that part of, of the earth, but still south of, of the equator. All right. Okay. So now that we know everything about the albatross, let's draw it. All right. So, so let's, let's draw this um, albatross. Um, I'm going to draw mine on an A2 uh, paper landscape. Okay. But even if you want to draw it on an A4, um, that's absolutely fine. Um, the principle remains the same. So we're going to look at the wall picture first, okay? Um, so for example, the beak, the distance between the edge of the paper and the edge of the beak, it's more or less the same distance you've got from the tip of the tail to the edge of the paper. Um, then when we're going to draw the wing, the wing goes all the way, nearly reaching the edge of the top of your paper, and so on and so forth, okay? Um, now, how big is the body of the albatross? And to understand in comparison with the beak, maybe we can take the beak as a measurement, okay? And if we do that, we can say, well, it's one beak, two beak, three, and about four big inside, okay? So what I'm going to do is before I draw any lines, I'm going to do little dots around 
okay? So when we want to draw big lines, we know we need to read that little point. So for example, tip of the wing would be about here. We have the same space, so the beak, if the beak is here, okay? The tail will be about here, and it's slightly higher than the beak, okay? Um, and what else? Oh yeah, and we said it was about four beaks inside, so let's say the beak would be about that, okay? So one, two, three, and four. So it's, it's about right, and then the beak would be about here, okay? The edge of the beak here, and then we can straight away draw the little dot, which is the eye, which is about about here. Okay, so let's make a dot, and if we need to enlarge it later, uh, we could do that. All right, um, and then we said the tip of this wing. It's about if we were going to to cut the page in four. It would be about here in the middle of this quarter here. So we can do a, a, a little dot. And we can adjust that as we go along. All right. So now we've got plan. The drawing is planned. Let's look at the lines. OK, let's zoom in and look at the lines. So I think we're going to straight away draw this big curve that goes from the tail. So at the tail, start with a line, and then there's this long curve going all the way, all right? So from that little dot, let's draw a line, okay? And then about here, from here to there, we're going to draw a long, long curve all the way, and we know it's going to be touching the tail there. Right, okay. Then we've got the other side of the body. So from, again, we've got a line here, then another line going behind the wing, and then we've got this kind of wavy line here, okay? Just in front of the, the eye. So I'm going to do, yeah, a little dot again here, okay? I know I need to draw a line for the tail, okay? And then we have a wing, which is about, oh, not the wing, sorry, the straight line going about here. So it's, it's not middle, middle would be about here. So it's a little bit behind, so not quite the middle. So if the middle is here, it would be about here, okay? So let's draw so from the tail we've got a straight line going there and then a wavy kind of line going that way okay so at the moment we've got like a fish kind of um, shape but then we're going to add the beak all right and then we're going to have this the essence of, of the albatross right okay so again Let's look at the line, okay? So the beak has got this kind of, it's not a straight line, it's kind of a, a curve. And then, so you need to draw, 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 and then at the very end, do a sharp um, turn down with a curve. And then you've got one curve, one line here, another line here, and the bottom of the beak, okay? So let's do that. So from here, we're going to draw a very shallow, shallow curve, and we carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on, and we drop the line, the, the curve down here, okay? And then we have to do, so the other one just there, the same, and this one is for the nose, okay? It seems to have a tube here, and when they, they fly, these tubes help them to understand where the wing comes from. And then just on top, if you can see, there is two little dots for the nose. Up, two little dots, the cavity of the nose, up here. And then you've got this other line, which is when the beak open. All right, so let's draw that all the way and again meets at the point here. 
and then the last one like that okay and then you've got a little bit of 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 wavy line here which is you know the underneath the the mouth here that we need to draw okay right okay so getting there and then we need to do the line which separate the beak from the feathers okay so we're going to do that and done so i think now the eyes you know if you look closely to the eyes it's kind of um because there is the darkness of the eye and then there is something black all around it okay so we need to, to do that up and there all right okay so when you're happy with your line we can carry on or for example if i was going to draw with a graphite i might have redo redraw a little bit this line to make it a little bit more curvy here okay i can't do that because i'm i'm drawing with a marker but that's but that's okay i'm i'm, I'm happy with that all right so now we're going to draw the big wing here okay so before we go into this uh, wing i want you to imagine that here you see how sharp this line is sharp this line is comparing with this edge here a bit more you know wavy shape it's because here obviously they have the bones so they have one bone going all the way here another bone here and then a third bone going this way like a bit like us we've got one bone another bone and all the bones of the ends okay so but the same so we've got the tip here it starts from here so where the about here so we're going to draw a little dot there and then we've got the other side of the wing which is here and it's quite close to the end here okay so it's about here so two dots and then we've got a third dot that we draw at the beginning which is over there all right so we've got and then so we need to also maybe put the dot here okay so it's about same distance from there to there it's about the same distance so, so let's see where is the middle and the middle would be about here all right so let's draw so it's a curve long curve followed by a smaller curve and then another curve going all the way to the tip okay so let's do this first long curve all the way there okay and then we've got about again not quite maybe less than the, in the middle maybe about here we've got this other curve and then this curve that goes out all the way to the tip of this little dot we've done at the beginning right okay so now we can do the outside of the of the wing okay so it's not just a straight line here at the tip so one thing i wanted to show you as well is um what gives the shape to that wing is the sort of uh, feathers that help the um, albatross to to fly so if we look i've, I've managed to um, um uh, print but here are all the feathers that you can find in an albatross so those one would be found here at the tip of the wing but all this duvet here this all this white one here or this one would be more about here Okay, so when we're going to draw the inside of the wing, we have to think about all the different type of feathers that the albatross got. All right. Okay, so actually I could put that here. Write us later on. Here. Lovely. All right. So again, so we've got maybe if we look at that point here. Okay, we can do a dot. And here it's more like 
a curve out and inside a little bit. Curve out and inside. And then another curve out and a little bit around here, inside. So we carry on and there, okay? And again, if you're not quite, quite happy with the shape of your wing, yeah, just draw it out. I could have done this one slightly longer here uh, and, and draw from here, but that's okay for, for the demonstration. Right, and then obviously you can erase that part here of the wing. I will try to incorporate that line because I can't erase it with when I've started to, to draw the feathers, okay? And that would be one of my lines, but you can erase that line straight away. Lovely. And then the last wing, okay? So we said that it was the tip of the wing and it's kind of curvy here, okay? So, and the same as before, so we've got a curve, a little dot here, another point here, and then this big curve coming and the, the wing obviously is behind, okay? So the wing is coming about out from here, okay? And about here, okay? So a curve, then another curve, curve and then a long curve about here okay and then this line here comes about here as well okay so yeah let's do that here and then again you've got one curve and another curve okay so we follow one curve and a curve all right okay so we've got all the elements that of our drawing okay so now what i'm going to show you is what i've done after so here is the drawing i've done before okay and now it's all about the details the inside okay of the wing especially the wing but also how to give that uh, you know, from white to, to dark here, okay? So what I have done, I didn't want to go into colors, I just want to wanted to color the beak. Huh? But once you've done that, if you want to put more colors or paint, that's up to you, okay? But me, I just wanted to do a more like a graphic um, design of, of the bird, okay? So here I've got little kind of, um, uh, very, very little um, curves, and the more I do, then this part become black, okay? And then for the wing, I've tried to look closely and try to see where long, there was long um, uh, feathers, where the, the, the smaller feathers were and, and so on. So it's all about observation. Huh? So look closely at your picture huh? and, 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 and draw what you see. Uh, so let's let's do that. I may not uh, make so many details on on this the other drawing, but you can take as long as you want drawing all these little feathers. Okay, so here, okay. So for example, here you've got longer feathers. Here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers of feathers going this way. Here you've got feathers stopping here and you've got long feathers going that way, okay? So, yeah, let's do it. You take your time. So, a lot of little feathers coming this way. All right. And so you can do that movement, you know, like an M, endless M, or you can do that to give a, a more... All right, um, more feather, feathery look if you want. I'm not sure if it's a word, but yeah. So, and then from here, you've got another layer of feathers slightly longer. And, and here, if you want a really, really nice drawing, is really taking your time, enjoying the time, each line, 
don't don't worry if uh, oh it's long so if it's too long you do a little bit then you stop then you come back but under under drawing okay and then here definitely in this area definitely very long one So you see that this line I couldn't erase. I've tried to incorporate into my design or my drawing. Right, okay. And then here you've got another layer of feathers, slightly smaller. Lovely. Okay, and I let let you do the rest so obviously here you've got all these layers of feathers then another layer here and you see how they overlap and here we can see you can count them one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten layers of overlapping feathers okay and then for the body so obviously i'm not going to draw anything here but from about here you start to have black feathers okay so just little wavy kind of lines, very, very small little curves. And then as you go toward the tail, okay, you make those little wavy curves denser. You pack them really close to each other. And then you've got this impression of darkness. All right, okay. And, and as I said before, you can leave it as it is, just like I did color yellow, the, the beak. You can leave it black and white, or you can um, take your paint out and, and paint your bird and paint the sky. It, it, it's up to you, all right? Okay, so thank you for watching and see you soon.